Across the country, we're building new neighborhoods, office parks, hospitals, and more. Using low-impact development methods is one way to respect the connect, understanding that everything we do affects our neighbors. Low-impact development involves planning and engineering designs that mimic natural processes to manage stormwater runoff and protect water quality. In natural areas, only 10% of rainfall converts to runoff into streams and rivers. Much of the stormwater is infiltrated into the ground. Non-porous surfaces such as roofs, parking lots, roads, and even manicured lawns increase stormwater runoff by up to 500%. This extra water overwhelms wetlands and streams, causing not only increased flooding, but also head cuts and significant stream bank erosion that threatens buildings, roads, and sanitation systems. The suspended sediments can pollute downstream rivers, lakes, and bays. By installing bioretention ponds, constructed stormwater wetlands, bioswells, permeable pavement, and other LID elements, not only will development be more physically attractive, it will also help prevent big problems downstream. As municipalities seek to mitigate the problems associated with stormwater runoff, LID can be very helpful in reaching these goals. One of the benefits of LID practice from a city perspective, um, the, one of the most common sense things I can say is it makes good business sense. Um, we have found over the years that uh, poor practices cost municipalities money and uh, they cause problems with uh, flooding and, and just as a quality of life issues. We're at Toomer's Corner and this is uh, the iconic landmark. The pavers that we're standing on now and, and that are actually at all four corners are the cover, if you will, for detention. The water flows through the uh, pavers and then is detained. And, you know, the big picture is what happens downstream. So going forward, particularly in a community that is growing fast and has lots of development, it's absolutely a necessity because lots of projects create lots of stormwater potential issues. I think it's so important for mayors across Alabama but across the country to understand the expenditure of the tax dollars uh, does have uh, an incredible payback for the community. Research shows that development in neighborhoods designed with LID practices are more desirable and demand a higher asking price than comparable non-LID development. The success of a project has a lot to do with the aesthetics of it. Is it marketable? Do people just generally like the feel of it? And so by incorporating green infrastructure, such as low-impact development, we're able to create a, a product that the homeowners can buy into. LID allows you to incorporate green space and natural-looking areas that are popular with city planning commissions. From the perspective of the planning commission, if they bring things of that nature, like uh, uh, good planning practices from uh, stormwater management and LID development practices, They've incorporated that into the design. I think it makes a, a, a big deal. LID in your design can also streamline the permitting process by eliminating much of the runoff from your development. LID can save your project significant costs through its entire life cycle. Research from the EPA indicates maintenance costs are often less for LID projects than traditional stormwater alternatives. Point Place subdivision is a beautiful piece of property and we wanted to preserve the live oaks here and a lot of the trees and uh, this LID development or concept lended itself nicely with this piece of property and allowed us to do that. By spreading out the bioretention ponds throughout the development we were able to reduce the size of our retention pond and uh, we probably actually picked up one additional lot. What we have behind us is an island that we've incorporated, uh, some nice landscaping. This is actually a bioretention pond here that's maintained on a weekly basis by a landscape crew. 
all stormwater features require maintenance. And so you can either go and, and maintain it in a more conventional way, which is heavy equipment, or you can go in and do it with a soft footprint where it's uh, done with landscape crews and, and things like that. LID incorporates plants, trees, and ponds, making areas beautiful as well as functional. The LID concept is environmental friendly and has a green element to it and uh, a lot of the homeowners are uh, the people that purchase lots in here were, uh, were very you know, happy with that. Choosing LID practices is not only beneficial to the environment, it is an asset for the municipality and it's good for business. We certainly encourage low impact development, green infrastructure, and I think it's great for every community to be a part of. Visit the Clean Water Future website for more simple ways you can improve the water quality in your community. Find out more about ways LID can solve your stormwater problems. Consult the LID Handbook for 